Hi friends, welcome to another video and welcome to all of our new subscribers that have joined us from TikTok. Very excited to have you here. So today we're going to be going over um, a fairly basic stitch. All it involves is chaining and double crochet. Um, it is called a shell stitch and it is one of my favorites because it just looks so beautiful. So basically to start off with a shell stitch, you need to do, you need to be working in chains of six. So basically for each shell that you'd like to make, you'll do a chain of six and then you do plus one right at the end. Okay, so to save a bit of time, <laughs> you can see I've done my chains of six. So I've ended up with 24 because I just want to show you four just because it's it's nice and easy and plus one so the reason I've got the two colors out my favorite Halloween orange and then my lovely soft pink is because the shell stitch actually looks nicest when worked in alternating rows of different colors unless you have your own color changing yarn um, which you can get with variegated sock yarn so so, so, yeah. so yarn designed for socks in particular to be self-striping um, works really well for this because it just changes the colors on its own and you don't even have to worry. Okay, so I've worked my, worked my row of single crochets and then I've actually just done a row of double um, just because I think it looks a little bit neater. I don't often like going straight into a stitch. Um, I like to do a row of singles, half doubles or doubles um, just to get it started just so you've got a really nice tidy edge and then you can like work something like tassels or pom-poms or whatever you want onto the end of it. Um, I think it just looks a lot nicer and a lot neater. So if you're not familiar with how to do chains or how to do double crochets, um, you just need to pop back to my videos. Um, our very first video on the channel will show you how to do chains. And then our second video on the channel will show you how to do single crochet and double crochet. Plus I do a little refresh in the third video, which is of single crochet, double crochet and triple crochet. Just keeping in mind that I am working to US terms. Okay, so now that we've established my row, so we've got 25, keeping in mind. Um, I'll clear some of this out of the way so that we've got a better working space and then we'll get started. Okay, so the basics of a shell stitch is that we're working double crochets, but we're working five of them into the same, the top of the same stitch. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So let's start with our first one. So we'll yarn over. So we're not counting the stitch we're going into here. We're going into this one. So we're skipping one, two, and then we're working one double crochet. And then into that same stitch, two double crochets, and into the same stitch, three <laughs> double crochets, into the same stitch, four double crochets, and into that same stitch, our fifth double crochet. Then what we want to do is skip two and then in the third one along we need to anchor them down so if you've seen my video on the virus shawls you'll be very familiar with that technique that i use um, that i call anchoring so i'll just show it again for anyone who's not super familiar so basically what you want to do is you find the stitch that you want to pop into pop your hook through Oh, there's a little bit of nail polish on my hand. Excuse that, please. Um, so you go into the top of the crochet that you want to want to anchor, yarn over and pull through once, and then yarn over and pull through again. So basically, this anchor is a single crochet. Um, some people will say just anchor with a slip stitch. I find that it makes things look so much nicer and so much neater if your anchor is a single crochet. 
but this is all down to preference as some people will say nope that looks terrible or they'll you know start straight up like along your chain um, with your shell stitches it's all down to preference you're the creator so the choice is up to you basically people can tell you what to do but in this world you're the boss so you know make the most of it okay so now we skip two double crochets and in the third one we uh, st <laughs> so yeah we skip two double crochets and then in our third one we start a little cluster of five so we've got one two three We unravel a little yarn, four, and five. Then we skip two and we anchor him down with a single crochet. So there you can see two shell stitches and isn't that little fan design just so beautiful? I'm in love with it. I've actually freehand made a handbag um, using color changing yarn with just this stitch and I swear I'm in love with it. It's pink, it's girly, um, it's beautiful. I adore it. And as I've said quite a few times um, in some coming videos, I'm actually going to show you how to design your own handbag. So we'll go through a few more of the fancy little stitches first. Um, because you can actually make your handbag out of some of these fancy stitches. So the ones that I've used, I've used waffle stitches, um, I've used bubbles, popcorns, um, I've used these little shells, I've used um, alpine stitch. So it's really up to you. You're the creator. Up to you. Okay, so now for our next shell, let's skip two. And then in the third, We'll start our next cluster of five double crochets. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. Then we skip two and anchor this baby down with a single crochet. Then we skip Two more and then now our third one we start our last cluster of double crochets we've got one two three four five oh sorry i think i just hit my little camera holder there and then in the Third one along, we're just going to anchor this baby down. Okay, so now you see, look at our beautiful little chain of shells. Okay, so if you want to keep going with the same color, um, you don't need to snip off the yarn or anything like that. If you want to start with a new color, this is the point where you add in your new color. So I'm going to add in my pretty pink. And you can do this one of two ways. So you can completely cut the yarn and um, you know tie this tie your your first color off and then go right that's it and then you'll be sort of cutting and changing your yarn um, every single row as you go along which I personally don't like. Um, I mean unless you're working like on a big blanket. If you're working on a big blanket, then yeah, that's probably the best way to go about it. But if you're doing something sort of really um, small scale, like like this, which I would probably design to be like a like a really thin scarf, so not really a scarf, more like a um, I don't know, like a a, a, a crocheted like necklace <laughs> or maybe just a, a decorative scarf. Um, my preference is to actually run our color 
along the top. So, and I'm going to show you how to do that because you're just like, what are you talking about? Oh, hey, Johan. So I was just talking to you and I have received two licks on the back of my ankle from Mr. Johan, my, my lovely crochet assistant. Okay, so let's start by chaining him in and I'll, so now we're, okay, so we've got that first little chain there. So what I'm going to do is just tie him off. Um, that's just to make sure that we don't, that our threads don't come apart. Okay. And just a double knot is super fine. Trust me, we're working this in, so you're not going to notice it. You're saying, what? What sorcery is this? It's not sorcery. Don't worry. It's, <laughs> it's, it's fine. You, uh, you know me. I say that a lot. Okay, so we'll start with one, two, three in a chain, and then we'll do two in a chain of two just into the top of this same stitch. So, oh, she's a bit tight. There you go. One. Oh, I dropped it. Sorry, I've got a small distraction just to the right of me. A very fluffy boy. Hello, bunny. What you doing? Are you trying to grab my stuff? Do you want my Do you want my crochet project? Are you here to help? No, he's not here to help. Um, I like to joke that he is actually part magpie because he gets up onto my desk, and anything that's not nailed down, he will just pick up and take away, and like. That's everything. Oh, now he's sitting on my computer. Good job, buddy. Um, this is everything. Books, pens. Yes, he loves my pens. Um, I had a, had a period where he was trying to steal um, stuff from my sewing machine. So um, bowls of thread, um, ribbons. Um, my friend sent me <laughs> um, a, a, a couple. A cultivated seed and so it was in bubble wrap he tried to steal that so many times um, but yeah he just whatever I'm doing he likes to be in on it. Do you have a look? See there he is just just walk through buddy it's fine and that's his fluffy little butt because he's a manx and he has no tail and it's so cute all right, let me move the camera over to the side. Please excuse my very, very rude, rude boy. Okay, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was saying a whole heap of words. Hey, don't, don't, don't steal the yarn. No, I need that. Okay, so, no, Johan. Stop, don't make me push you off there. All right, so, because I was so distracted with this child, I haven't done that correctly. It just goes to show, like I tell you all the time, you know, people make mistakes. Even if you've been crocheting for years, you're still going to be making mistakes. I call them fingerprints because it's what makes project unique. All right. So what I did wrong was I didn't have the two tails of yarn underneath like my work here. All right, so we wanted to do two double crochets in that space. And our assistant has left us now. Two, three. All right, so now we skip two. And then in the center of our first shell, we anchor down with a single crochet. And then you count down. So you see that spot where we anchored it in the first row? This is where we're making our new shell. So let's yarn over. Let's run our yarn tails down into the middle there. Trust me. And let's make our chain, our, <laughs> our five double crochets. Oh my gosh, my mind's everywhere today. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. 
So now we count along two into the third one, which is the top of the shell there. And then we anchor him down with a single crochet. Then again, we count down and where we anchored our shell in the previous row, this is where we're doing our next cluster of five double crochets. So we've, sorry, I keep hitting my, my stand. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then we count up one, two, three, and we've got the top of the shell in the previous row. So remember, we're laying our yarn tails down there. And then we do our single crochet over the top. So I want to see if you can kind of get an idea where I'm going with this. Give me a second and I'll finish off the row. I apologize, I'm sweating a little bit. It's um it is October in Brisbane, but anyone who is from Australia who has been to Brisbane in particular knows that there is no such thing as winter or autumn or spring it's just summer that's why i work with cotton <laughs> so where we anchored down our shell stitch from the previous row that's where we're creating our shell stitch for the second row so let's start with one two three, four, five, and then in the top arc of our shell in the previous row, that's where we anchor him down with a single crochet, and it looks like we've got just the end of the tail of that pink. So, because it's the end of the tail, I will actually go in and snip the loose threads off. And then we count down, one, two, three, so right here, and then we create three double crochet. Why do we create three double crochet? Because it's a half shell. So, one, two, three, just let me get him in there. Oh my gosh, so tight. You know me, I crochet super tight. <sighs> Got one, two, and three. And there's our, our two rows of shell. I'm just gonna zoom you in a little on that so you can get an idea of exactly how it looks. Isn't that just the prettiest? And then you'll want to continue with the orange. So what you'll do is just like literally just pull, is pull your orange thread up, thread him through, pull that pink tight, and then you just do a chain of three. Well, you won't need to do a chain of three. You'll do a chain of two. Um, oh, actually, I'm insane. We're not going to do a chain at all. Because we're starting back at the first, at the, at the first, at the first shell, we're just going to straight up do a shell into the next space. So five double crochets into that beautiful single crochet anchor point. So I'll just quickly show you just maybe two more. One, two, three. Four, five. Okay, we anchor him into the apex of our pink shell there. So we anchor with a single crochet. And you see I'm running the pink thread just along the base. And then in our single crochet anchor point again is where we do our next double crochet, which I forgot to yarn over for. So 
There we go. One, two, three, four. Get a little more orange yarn out. Five. Then into the apex of that next shell, we anchor him down with a single crochet. Okay, so now you get an idea of what two rows of shell stitch looks like. And I swear, if that isn't just the prettiest thing you've ever seen, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so remember, we start this in a row of six singles so for each shell you want six singles and then one extra single crochet at the end for your chain okay and that's how it's done so looking forward to our very next video where we're going to do one of my other favorite stitches uh, which is called the fan stitch and I am a big fan of the fan stitch yes pun intended I know I'm not funny um, but I make myself laugh frequently so I guess that's all that counts um, and I imagine that the cat laughs at me a lot but I think his is in, in a bit more mean-spirited way um, so I hope you enjoyed that if you have any more questions about the shell stitch please just pop it down in the comments below um, and I know that you will notice that little line there that can be combated by actually putting the the two yarns together for the last stitch so working it like that instead you just get a double combination which can just look a little bit nicer than just the yarn hanging on its own so I'm a big fan of, of double threading my yarn where I can. Anyway, so there you go. Looking forward to uh, having a chat with you about the beautiful, beautiful band stitch next. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for tuning in.